A little bit different of a video today as we aren't really learning about a specific topic as we give you updates on everyone's status, but it's still a learning experience. First up is an update on the kittens. We are not out of the woods yet, even though they seem to be doing well. It's not until about four weeks in that they can regulate their temperature. They still require constant heat from each other and their mom to stay warm. That said, we caught the black tuxedo cat panting the other day, so we chose to turn off the space heater. There's a danger of overheating the babies, so we really don't want that to happen in an effort to save them. I think Mama Tilly has got it covered at this point. The kittens have been showing strong signs of health. They're moving around and gaining weight. We weighed the kittens on Friday and this happened. See how Tilly did not like the noise the white one was making and picked her up? She did the same thing with the gray kitten a few days before. She's very protective over the babies. And while she wants to be by us, she does not understand what we're doing and does not like it. The good news is the kittens are well into the week three weight and week three just started. They should gain a minimum of eight grams of body weight a day and they are gaining more than double that. They also opened their eyes this past week if you didn't notice from the videos. However, the black tuxedo cat opened only one of his eyes. Obviously we were worried because sometimes baby kittens can have eye infections that can lead to a lost eye, especially if they're in the wild. So we have to watch this very closely to make sure there aren't any health concerns. But. We also thought it might just have been stuck. So we bought some chamomile tea to try and help open it. However, Tilly was a good mom and licked it open for him. Or her. We still haven't gendered the kittens yet. Pippa continues to eat down by the kittens and that has helped her and Tilly's relationship. Given what we saw when we tried to weigh the kittens, I don't think Pippa is going to try and interact with the kittens just yet. But it's also hard to say if she would anyway, as most of her time is spent elsewhere in our home. Michelle stopped with watching the kittens on a night shift several days ago as we feel good about leaving them overnight with their mom. She's getting back to good sleep and her acupuncture session really helped with getting deeper sleep. I am still sleeping on the couch right next to Tilly and the babies and will be here for the foreseeable future. Which is fine. It just reminds me that we need a new couch. Tilly and I continue to play a game of fetch at least once a day. She's really getting good at it. The litter box challenges resurfaced this week with more potential aggression. Tilly stopped using the downstairs litter boxes and began using the one in the laundry room. Then... This stare down started between Pippa and Tilly. Tilly might not be using the litter boxes in the basement as a way to throw off predators, but it means more potential clashes between these two, which we will have to watch for closely. We added a second litter box in the laundry room to try and stop any potential problems, so we'll see if that works. I have barely left the house since the babies were born. Tilly would get anxious when I left the room, let alone the house and has also followed me everywhere in our home. I did leave twice this week to exercise though, and Tilly was there waiting for me when I came back each time. We're probably going to post a video on her attachment in the future. Also, I figured I would mention the color coding we have for our videos. Yellow is for storytelling videos like this one and are about the lives of our cats kittens and all of the entertainment and education that comes from these experiences. The pink videos are longer than shorts and are just straight up cute things that the kittens do or cats do and don't really require an explanation but we wanted to share. If you just like cute videos then the pink ones are for you. We'll have deeper dive videos occasionally and will be a different color like the one we post this week but our goal is to keep videos under five minutes. Short but meaningful interactions, just like with a cat. Speaking of deeper dives, we made some changes to our cat's environment this weekend, which we are going to talk about in detail in one of this week's posts. So stay tuned for more content, and the best way to get notifications of our videos is to subscribe to join the pride. Also, please scratch out some comments down below, use your mouse to share this video, and put your paws on that like button. I'm serious about the comments though, we really enjoy reading your comments, so please feel free to say hello. Until next time.